Hi, fellow crafters. Are you ready for another fun fold card idea? One that has a twist? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a reverse easel fun fold card. I'm going to be using my Nuts About Squirrels and Garden Wishes stamp sets. I'm going to be using the gorgeous Blackberry Beauty Designer Series paper. And I'm also going to be using some leftover pieces of the In Good Taste designer series paper. Be sure to watch all the way through my video for my bonus tips and design ideas. And if you would like free crafting ideas emailed directly to you each week, consider subscribing to my newsletters. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Now, shall we get crafting? I'm going to begin by creating three fun elements for my card using the Nuts About Squirrels stamp set. This set features two cheeky squirrels that will look adorable scampering across any of your projects. This is a two-step stamp set, so you can add color to your squirrel and customize them to match the area of the world you live in. So you can create red, gray, or brown squirrels, and no matter what, they'll be just so cute no matter what colors you choose. So I have a piece of basic white cardstock and I'm going to create three squirrels. So let me bring in my pieces here and I'm going to use early espresso for the outline of my squirrels. And I want one of those, but I want two of these. Okay, so I've used early espresso for the outline. Then to add the color to the inside, which are these two stamps, I'm going to use cinnamon cider. So let me see if I can, I'm just gonna move it a bit closer to me. If you can't see it, I will show you in a second. Okay, so there's one. And then for these two, I'm going to do the same. I think it's easier to start with the outline and then add the color to the center. You may find it's easier for you to do the reverse, do the more solid ones, and then add the outline on top. Whatever your choice is fine with me. All right, so I've got these three squirrels ready to use on my card. And now what I'm gonna do is take my paper snips and I'm gonna fussy cut them out. So I will be back in a minute and I will show you what they look like cut out. And then we'll move on to create some additional elements, and then this fun fold technique. Back in a moment. All right, here's my three squirrels ready to use on my card. I just want to talk about this one a little bit. So when you stamp this particular squirrel, the acorn is not colored in, it's plain white. I wanted to add a little bit of detail to mine, so I used my Early Espresso Stampin' Write marker and my Cinnamon Cider Light stamp and blend and I colored in the acorn just to give it a little bit of a pop. Now I'm going to move these guys out of the way and I'm going to create another element that I'm going to use on my card. I have a scrap piece of cinnamon cider and yes <laughs> I'm going to create another daisy. I used this daisy punch last week on my video and created another kind of easel card um, that you might want to watch next, and you can click here to do so. I'm going to then use, this is a retired half inch circle punch, but I am going to use it to create a center for my daisy. And I'm going to add some multi-purpose liquid glue, and then just pop the center down, and then slide it out of the way to dry. The next thing I want to do is bring in a square of basic white cardstock and I've got one of the phrases from the Nuts About Squirrels stamp set 
and I want to ink it up and stamp it down using cinnamon cider. So I'll do that. Okay. And then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to layer it onto a square of early espresso. And let's do that. Okay. Now I want to layer this square onto a square of cinnamon cider. But before I do that, I want to take this tiny leaf stamp from the Nuts About Squirrels set. And I'm going to use my Versamark and I'm just going to ink up this leaf. It's actually the center of the leaf image. But I just want to add a little bit of visual interest to this layer. Okay. Now, what I want to do is add this layer to my cinnamon cider layer. Like so. All right, so now I've got some things happening here. I think now it's time to create the easel card and I'll show you how to create it in a reverse technique way. Back in a moment. To create this easel card, I have a piece of early espresso cardstock that's 12 inches by six inches. And I want to bring in my Simply Scored and I'm going to lay this down on the long side, the 12 inch side, and I want to score it at six inches. Then I want to flip it over and I want to score it at nine inches. Okay, so then I'm gonna flip it back, move this out of the way. And the six inch mark, I'm going to fold in. So that folds it in half. And then you can see that this is where I did the nine inch. I'm going to fold it this way so that it doesn't um, damage the cardstock. So let me show you. There's the six inch, there's the nine inch, and it folds in like this, kind of like a Z fold or a Z fold, depending on where you live in the world. So let me just show you again. Here is my cardstock. Normally, when you create an easel card, this flap would be the other way. But with the way we're going to do it for this card to make it a reverse easel is to leave it like this and then turn it so that we will have an easel that goes this way. So now let's decorate it. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to add a layer of cinnamon cider to the inside. Like so. And then on top of that, I'm going to use a piece of the Blackberry Beauty paper. I love this paper. I've said this many times because of its traditional autumn images of leaves and sprigs and birds. And then I also like it because it's a non-traditional color palette for fall. It's not, there's no pumpkin pie in sight. So I have this leftover piece and I thought it would be kind of fun to use it on the inside. So I'm going to add that next. And make sure the pattern is the way that I want it to be. I think so. And then, so here's how it's starting to take shape. Now what I wanna do is I wanna add a piece of designer series paper to this part of the fold. So I'm going to use my um, In Good Taste designer series paper. 
it's got lots of sort of wood images and other really cool geometric designs. There we go. I thought I was adding adhesive, but I wasn't. Okay, so I'll add this up here, like so. And then we've got that. Now, what we want to do is we want to create something for the inside. So I'm gonna slide this out of the way. And I have a, another piece, another square of basic white. And to that, I'm going to add a phrase from the Garden Wishes stamp set. This is a really fun stamp set because the greetings are like greetings of support and friendship. So I've chosen one of them to use on the inside of my card. And I think I'm going to use early espresso this time. So this says made for love, made with love for a true friend. So I'm going to stamp that like so. And I am going to not adhere it quite yet onto the inside of my card. I'm going to take this piece, which we've already created, and I'm going to adhere it to the outside front of my card first. And you'll see why in a minute. So remember that this is a flap, right? So what I want to do is I want to attach only the top part of this layer to the flap because if I put adhesive on the whole back of it, it's going to adhere it closed and that's not going to work very well. So what I'm going to do is add some adhesive just to the top and then I'm going to lay it down like so. All right, so we've got this coming. Again, it's going to be an easel. I'll show you how we'll do that in a second. But now what I want to do is I want to adhere this inside piece so that it is hidden inside the card. So only when the person that gets this card in the mail opens it up, they'll see this nice phrase inside and a few extra details that we'll add in a second. So I'm going to add adhesive to the back. You may want to use multi-purpose liquid glue because it's easier to move it. So I'm going to bring this down. Okay, we want this straight inside. Okay, so that we have this and this. All right, so now it's time to decorate the card and finish it off. Back in a moment. I'm going to take these two little squirrels and I've already added some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of one of them. These are mini Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm going to add some to the back of the second one. And I'm going to use these as embellishments for the front of my card. So I'm going to put one squirrel here and the other one down in the opposite corner. So I'm going to put him down here like that. Now this squirrel I want to use to help keep the card open so that it becomes this reverse easel and whoever gets it can open it up and prop it up like so. So what I want to do is I want to attach this squirrel to a piece or a square of early espresso cardstock and I'm going to use my multi-purpose liquid glue. I want to glue him down flat onto this square and let that dry for a second. Okay, I think it's dry enough. I'm going to turn it over and I have a, a sort of a, a leftover sheet of mini stamp and dimensionals. And what I want to do is add this sort of border and pop this up. 
It needs to have some lift so it'll be strong enough to hold this open. So I'm just gonna move that out of the way and I'm going to put the squirrel down like so and then it hides the message inside and whoever gets this card can open it up and stand it up so that it's a really super cute easel. Let me just turn it on its side so you can see how it looks. And here's what it looks like from the other side. And here's what it looks like flat. So when the person opens up the envelope and opens this up inside, they can see this cute message inside. There's room for you to write, hand write a message here, and then they can stand it up. The other thing you can do, another option, is to turn this over and you could use this piece of real estate on the back to add another piece of Whisper White, or Basic White, sorry, Basic White cardstock to add another message there. You've also got this piece as well. And no, I haven't forgotten about the daisy. So let's add the daisy to the card. And I think what I'll do is I'll add it to the inside of the card as another nice surprise. You obviously can put your daisy wherever you want to, but I think when the recipient opens it up and sees the daisy inside, it just adds another fun touch. So if you like this fun fold card idea, why not try another one? Why not check out this video next? And if you would like a complete list of the supplies that I used and the measurements for all of the layers, head on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. And while you're on my blog, I encourage you to subscribe to my free newsletters. I'm adding a complete new series of newsletter articles starting this Wednesday for the 12 weeks of Christmas. I'll show you Christmas card ideas, Christmas gift ideas, and Christmas bags and tags ideas. So head on over to my blog. I'll provide the link underneath this video so that you can subscribe and get the first issue which emails this week. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. I hope you'll try this reverse easel fun fold card someday soon. Bye for now.